Welcome to this very quick taster of the upcoming Entry and Sequences plugin. I'm going to build a short structured piece of music in Entry and Timeline, which is a door style timeline sequencer for VCV Rack. I'm going to start by creating a CV track to control the levels of the different instruments so that I can fade them in and out. The introduction section of the piece is going to be wind noise, for which I'm also going to use a CV track. This wind noise will be generated by modulating a white noise generator using three CV channels to modulate the volume, the filter cutoff, and the filter resonance applied to the noise. This CV editor lets you create segments as plane lines, J curves, or S curves. You can switch a line between the different curve types by hovering over the segment and pressing the P, S, or J keys. Press twice to switch the direction of a curve. You can have up to 16 named channels of CV output per CV track. Next, we're going to add a drum track. There are lots of ways to add notes to a drum track. I'm just going to do it by clicking with the mouse. Drum notes have lots of interesting properties, many of which can be given random probabilities. Here, I'm going to make the velocities of the hi-hat notes somewhat random. The editor lets you edit lots of notes at once, so it's quite productive to use. Now for the bass. We add a melody clip for this, and then edit it using the melody editor. This is a polyphonic piano roll editor for creating melodies and chord sequences. Next, we're going to add an arpeggio, but we're going to do it using CV. The pitch sequence is just the same note repeated throughout, but with a sequence of different filter cutoffs, giving each note a different sound. A CV track has a gate output as well as the CV voltage, so you can drive an envelope generator from it, just like you would with a melody. We still have a couple of parts left to add, but let's build out the structure of the piece first. I'm adding some alias clips for this. An alias clip repeats the content of another clip with any changes to the original clip reflected in the alias. You can also make copies of clips that are independent of the original. I'm making copies of the bass part that I'm going to transpose for a chord change. You can zoom and scroll through the timeline using the scroll bar along the bottom of the editor. I've now added a pad track and a lead track, and I'm going to use the level track to fade out the instruments at the end, and to get the wind noise to fade back in and then out again. Here's how it sounds. Thanks for watching.